Hey, Candace, Georgia. Saturday night. Coffee night. Never a good thing. I love coffee. I just drink too much of it. Way, way too much of it. I was sitting down here in the man cave drinking my coffee. Thought I'd share something with you. I went shopping. You get groceries at Walmart. Wally World. You know, everybody's cheapo place to go shopping. And yep, scored another $5 bargain. Knives. Five bucks. Can't beat that with a big stick. You know, this one. Okay. Back at it. Trudging through Walmart. I found this. In a package. Well, the whole package. I've removed a little bit of it. Pocket knife set in a nice wooden box. Ozark Trail. Five inch pocket knife. Five function. 2.4 inch pocket knife. Five functions. A collector's wood box. Kind of. Five dollar category because that's about my budget. The Ozark Trail two piece pocket knife set. It looked nice. Had a closer look. And what it is, pocket knife. I suppose you'd call it a keychain knife. One of those things you can hang on your keychain. And it's a multitasker. Yeah, we're back at multitasking stuff again. Jack of all trades, master of none. Five bucks. So pulled out the wallet, dusted it off and pulled out five bucks. Off I trudged back home. Got to thinking about it. Five bucks? How can they make something like this for five bucks? I'll take a closer look. Thought I'd bring you along with me. And what it is, is this guy. A pocket knife, a keychain knife. This guy, which is a little pouch that goes on your belt. This is the best part of the whole deal. It's pretty cool. Small, compact, fits on your belt. Mmm, five bucks. Five bucks. Pocket knife. It even comes with a protector. I've never cut myself with a knife. So this actually pops in. It actually stays in. It locks in. Press the unlock and you can close it. The handle's made of... I don't know. This stuff smells weird. Sniff. It looks okay. I don't see anything really bad about it. It looks well made. Has the Ozark Trails thingy on it. Is it sharp? Wow. It cut its own packaging. Not a bad size. See here? It's not bad. Still don't know what this stuff is. Let's look at the keychain guy. Got the same stuff on it. Has a little loopy here that you can put on your keychain. What does it have in it? Knife, not locking. Nail file. I think that's meant to be a screwdriver or something to clean your nails. On the other side, we scissors. Snip, slip, and bobs your auntie. It's not bad. Small, compact, not too heavy. Oh, it's a little heavy. I think I'll be a little bit worried about my keychain. But if you don't have a lot of keys on it, it can be too bad. Handy thing to have around you. Hey, it could be handy to have with you. The pouch. Ballistic stuff, I think. This doesn't go in there. This is for your keychain. This goes in here. Look at that. Snap, snaps on. Not too tight, but it works. The Ozark Trails logo. Place to put a belt. Not bad, it's no longer a pocket knife. It's a sheath knife. Just saying. The reason I really bought it though, and that is a box. It's a wood, well, not really. If you look inside, it's that kind of mushed up, compressed stuff, and it's just got wood veneer on it. But it looks cool. The lid is a little off center. Thought was there. Ozark Trails Outdoor Equipment and includes in a collector's wood box and sheath packaging out the door. I'll probably keep them. Five bucks. Five bucks. That's not bad. But then I look close. Ooh, whoop. metal, stainless steel. First I thought it was rust. You can see it there. See those dark patches? I don't know what it is. Do I care? Five bucks. I'll take it. A real pocket knife. Seems to be okay. It doesn't have that stuff on it. Looks smooth, and it's not bad. And it's not bad. Warning, cancer and reproductive harm. Wow, caution, cut hazard. It's a knife, it's got scissors. Of course it's a cut hazard. Wow, I can't read the rest. I need new glasses. Wow, wow, where is it made? I don't know, Ozark Trail is a trademark of Walmart. Huh, how about that? Wow, oh, here we go. Made in China. Wow, huh, five bucks, still a bargain. Here's my advice, get yourself a buck. A buck. This buck. I've had this guy for years. Kind of old. I've lost it three or four times. Been with me forever. This buck was not a buck. It was a lot more than five bucks. But it's still worth it. This? Five bucks. Huh. Was it worth it? Probably. I'll get my five bucks out of this. Five bucks. It's not gonna hurt. Caution. Cut hazard. Wrap it up in some gift packaging. Just like that, and you're good to go. Five bucks, they'll like it. They don't need to know about the five bucks. That'll be our secret next time you're at Walmart. Five dollar bargain place. I lost my dollar. Oh no.
The most interesting thing I found, the almost wood box, has a sticker on it that says EPA TSCA Title 5, whoop, sorry, 6, compliant for formaldehyde. Seriously, how they do it for five bucks, even in China, I don't know how they do it, but they do. Worth it. Just saying. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And I promise next time I'll be back. None of these coffee-influenced $5 gizmo. Something worthwhile. Just saying. Thanks for watching. Bye.